want to show you how to enter grades for those of us that are new and not used to doing it. All you need to do is go to your My CI portal, log on, and one of the services that will be there is CI Records. Now mine are pinned here, yours might be farther down here. But you can just type in CI Records here in the search dialog box and, uh, and you'll get to this. So when I click on CI Records, before this week you would have seen your um, uh, you would have seen your roster here, the, the icon with people, and uh, possibly class permissions if you had a permission code, and that was it. But in the last couple weeks of the semester, a new column has been added, this one right here, which is your grade roster. Um, if I were to pick that, uh, that box, I'd come up with this dialog, and here I would be entering my final grade. Initially, it's set to not reviewed, and I could go here for all my students, click this pull down. Um, now, if this is a, a graded class, it would be a letter grade. If it was a pass, no pass class, it would simply say, uh, have those options. Realize we also have I for incomplete. You should negotiate that um, with a student if there is something incomplete. By policy, we should only be giving incompletes to folks that have less than 20% of the material to complete. And, uh, you know, a, a good reason why they, that wasn't complete. Maybe they were um, had a broken leg or something of that nature. And you should negotiate the specific terms of that with the student, um, emailing them, going back and forth, and, and feel free to CC me, the chair, once you've concluded that. Um, and so there's, there's, there's no ambiguity. A typical thing would be, hey, in the next month, I need you to turn in this last assignment or by the end of summer, what have you. Regardless, if you indicate an I um, and it is not changed, you change that subsequently by submitting a change of grade form. If that is not changed in 12 months, that'll be converted to an F for a failure. Uh, other, uh, other options, the other uh, common option that we have is, um, is WU, that's a unapproved withdrawal. If I were to select that option, um, uh, once I submitted it, there's gonna be another dialog box that comes up here and it's gonna say, what was the date of their last attending, uh, 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 last attendance of the course? Uh, and so once I've done that, I've gone through, I've, I've, I've done that with all my students. Then I'll actually hit save for it to not be reviewed. And then I'll usually wait a little bit, wait a day or so, double check, you know, get a fresh air and come back, double check that I entered them all right. And at that point I would go and click approved, although you can just immediately type them in and hit approved and then go for it. Um, uh, and, and there you go, that's, that's submitting grades um, through our CI Learn dialog box, um, the CI Records application.